In this video, we'll be covering solar animations. This is done using the Heliodon tool in the visualization tool set. If you don't have the Heliodon tool, it most likely means you just have fundamentals with RenderWorks. If that's the case, you won't be able to do a solar animation, and you can just go ahead and skip to the next video. If you have Architect or Landmark or Designer, you'll be able to use the Heliodon tool, and we can continue. Go ahead and change it back to OpenGL. We don't want to keep re-rendering in a fast RenderWorks. Rendering menu and OpenGL. Then go ahead and click Saved Views and go to 6 Solar Animations. There we are. Now, we don't want to use the light that was already in this document. We want the sun to be the only light that we use. So we'll open up the Visualization Palette. We'll turn this directional light off and collapse that again. In the Toolsets Palette, for under Visualization again, click on the Heliodon tool. And actually, we can just place it right there. It doesn't matter where you place a Heliodon, it's not going to show up in the rendering anyway. There we are, you'll see it's still selected by default. This nice shining sun from a reasonable angle. To create a solar animation, we're actually going to go into the Heliodon itself. So scroll down to the bottom of the Object Info Palette, and the Solar Animation button is right down here. However, before we do that, let's turn that background back on. Let's go to View, Set RenderWorks Background, Change it from none to that HDRI meta we had before. And then we can go to view and rendering, back to wireframe. Then view and rendering, back to OpenGL to reset that background. There we are, lovely. Now, click on the solar animation button at the bottom of the object info palette. Now, a solar animation is created in any RenderWorks mode you use, generally one with shadows, otherwise you wouldn't see it. But we're going to stick in OpenGL, so this will create fairly quickly. There are a couple things you can choose to animate. The most common one is the sun, so we'll keep this view that we have set up here, but the sun will move across the sky. You can also have the view be from the sun looking at your object, or from the sun looking to the center of the Heliodon object, if you want. It makes it a little more of a dramatic view, but generally the most common one is the first. Now in here we can set what day and time it is, but it for this, it really doesn't matter. If you'd like, you can simply set it to today's date. We want to click on the tab for Export Movie. We don't want it to show the time of day and show the month and the day in the bottom of the movie, so we'll click OK to those and turn those off. And we want the start time to be when the sun rises and the end time for when the sun sets, so it'll go from dark to dark on either end. You could control this if you wanted and start it at 1 a.m., but then it would be dark for a couple hours before dawn occurred. So we'll just use sunrise to sunset. Time interval means it'll do one render for each 15 minutes, so as far as the sun moves across the sky. If you want like a higher frames per second version or one you can slow down later, you'd want to make this instrument smaller. If you wanted the render to go faster and you just need to see the stages of the sun every half hour, you would just click 30 minutes. 15 minutes is fine for our purposes. We'll click OK. Set the quality. Generally always set this to very high. It's not going to change your rendering settings. It's just going to change the video quality output. And frames per second, 23.98 is generally fine. Click OK and choose where to save that. We'll just save that right to the desktop. Now, this is going fairly quickly because we're in OpenGL. If you were in a RenderWorks mode, each of these 57 frames would have to render. So if they took two minutes each, you'd have about 114 minutes to wait in order for that to be done. It's up to you. Generally, it's best to do one in OpenGL first. Then, if you get the animation right and it looks correct, you can switch over to a nice high-quality render mode, and that solar animation will look really nice. And there's the resulting video. Uh, we'll just put it on a loop there. It'll show sunrise to sunset, and you can see the shadows and the geometry changes, but notice the sky does not change. That's because we used a RenderWorks background that was just an image. We didn't use one of the physical options. If you choose physical sun and sky for your RenderWorks background, it will animate as well.